nature is something most will enjoy, but the outdoors can present many dangers along with its many attractions. This growing appetite for the wilderness is potentially quite dangerous for the unprepared or careless. There are almost endless number of hazards associated with going into nature. One of the most common injury is musculoskeletal injury. Musculoskeletal injury commonly occurs during sports or any physical activities such as jogging, biking or hiking. Our bones are connected to each other at the joint. Each joint is held steady by ligaments, tendons and muscles. The stability at the joint may be compromised if these structures are injured. Sprain happens after stretching or tear of a ligament. Sprain typically caused by falling or twisting the joint into an awkward position. Joints that are frequently sprained are ankles, wrists, knees and fingers. Meanwhile, strain occurs when there is stretching or tear of a muscle or tendon. It is often results from overexertion, trauma or repetitive movement. This commonly occurs in the back, shoulder or hamstring. During assessment, look for these signs that suggest a possible sprained joint or a strained muscle. Pain and tenderness, swelling, bruising and reduced movement over the injured area. The first aid treatment for sprain and strain injury follows the mnemonic RICE, R-I-C-E, for rest, ice, compression and elevation. First, help the victim to sit or lie down. Support the injured area to a comfortable position. Then raise the affected limb. Place an ice pack against the injured area. This will help reduce the swelling and the pain. Leave the ice pack in place and wrap a layer of soft padding around the area. Next, secure the padded ice pack with a bandage. Do not forget to check for the circulation every 10 minutes to make sure it is not too tight. If it is too tight, loosen the bandage and reapply. Lastly, support the injury in an elevated position. In an upper limb injury such as this, you can support the injured limb using an arm sling. Continue rice treatment for 24 to 48 hours. If the swelling and pain persists, it is best to seek medical treatment to exclude more serious injury. That's it for sprain and strain injury.